Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory guide and this time we're going to be helping you get your hands on all the juicy new buildables to play around with within update 5 by producing coupons as quickly as possible. So before we jump in if you find this video helpful then remember to drop a like and if you enjoy my content why not click the subscribe button. Now with update 5 there is a heap of new stuff to play around with. Things like the signals are automatically unlocked in the hub tiers however for the rest of the items like previous decorational items we will have to pay for them with coupons which are generated in the awesome sink by sinking items now each item has a point price and sinking the item puts those points towards a coupon however with each new coupon unlocked the price to unlock the next coupon increases this means that for some getting coupons can quickly become a daunting task especially when to unlock all of the first set of buildables it will set you back 87 coupons excluding of course the decals and this list only grows larger the more items you unlock and the further you are when it comes to the tech tree for example you won't be able to unlock glass roofs without having first purchased roofs initially or you won't be able to unlock the metal or coated foundations until you unlock steel and plastic. This means unlocking every buildable will eventually set you back 176 coupons and that's excluding decals. The factory cart and any other cool stuff that I've yet to discover or plus no doubt all the stuff that they'll be adding down the line. So how do we unlock coupons fast? Well, if you're already a few hundred hours into your save, it's pretty simple. Just sync the highest ticket items you have available, and these are usually the hardest items to produce, such as turbo motors or space elevator parts. However, if you're starting a fresh save, which I know many of you have, then how can we get as many coupons in the early game as quickly as possible? Well, firstly, I highly recommend creating a dedicated line just for sinking items. Consider creating a concrete line just to sink to start off with. This will get you some coupons, but long term, we're going to have to think bigger than just sinking concrete. So the next one that I want to talk about is quartz. So if you're near a quartz code, quote, uh, if you're near a quartz node, sorry, uh, this can be particularly useful at generating early game coupons. You can either sync the raw quartz, which is actually worth three points per quartz more than concrete, or better yet, set up a very simple crystal quartz line with the constructors. Now these yield 50 points per item sunk, and that's over three times the price of quartz. Alternatively, if you're not nearby to quartz but have access to Caterium, definitely produce quickwire to be sunk. And a good tip for any factory is to sink any excess resources. Now this can be done using the overflow setting on a smart splitter or alternatively, once a line is full, just divert all of the excess items to a sink manually. This is what I do and the points do begin to add up. That being said, if your factory is slightly further along, such as to the point that you're using assemblers to produce rotors or reinforced iron plates, or even smart plating, then these can be sunk and give a much larger amount of points. With smart plating, for example, pulling in a healthy 520 um, points per item sunk. Even better yet though, if you do a little research in the MAM, you can unlock the AI limiter. With it just requiring copper sheets and quick wire, you can quickly set up a factory relatively quickly and even better yet, the AI limiters are worth over 900 points. This however is nothing compared to the ever scaling price of coupons. So the number one tip, ideally after you've set up your factory with basic automation, would actually be to go out to all of the dropship crash sites that you possibly can and collect the resources around them. These crash sites have some incredibly valuable items such as supercomputers, computers, heavy modular frames and even radio control units which bring in 
so many points. But of course, while you're exploring, do make sure that you take enough resources to build a sink, a power plant, and a container, as you want to be sinking the resources while you're there, rather than taking them back and forth to base, because you only have a limited amount of uh, slots available when you first start the game, and so this is just going to be quicker for you. This will save you a lot of time and it'll give you a really healthy start to the game in terms of coupons. As you can see here, within a couple of hours, I'll also mention that I went back and forth when really I should have tucked the stuff with me. Um, but you can see I've gone from zero coupons and over a couple of hours having over 70, which goes a long way to unlocking a lot of the cool stuff that we have available. Uh, the rest of the stuff obviously can wait until our newest factory is sinking items. Now there are two other options available to us though. The first one would be to bring a group of friends into your game. After all, two sets of hands are better than one. That way someone can go out searching for the drop pods right from the get-go whilst the other sets up the factory, or alternatively you could both go in different directions collecting the resources and bringing them back. And double the people means double the points, not double the coupons, don't get that confused. But obviously it does manage to get you, give you a head start in much less time, so definitely consider this and if you can get more friends, all the better. And finally, the last point isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it certainly is worth mentioning. So if you want to unlock everything without ever needing to worry about coupons, well, before you go into Update 5, consider using a mod like Pack Utility to give you a few hundred coupons and place them in a box to be used wherever they're needed. Sure, it is a bit of a cheat in some people's eyes, but if you just want to get straight into the game and play about with everything rather than have to spend hundreds of hours getting those um, coupons up, then I'm not going to blame you. Uh, just check it out, pack utility. Anyway guys, that is all we have time for in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously if you are interested in some cool build tips, to use with your new buildables, why not check out my most recent video on design and you can always subscribe if you enjoy my content. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag and James Irwin, as well as our Lunars, Dixie Chris and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is JP Norman. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.